welcome to choose life i am pastor gina let me just lower this a little bit yes welcome to choose life good morning i hope your morning is refreshed i hope your morning is great i hope you woke up with jesus on your mind and how can you make your life better by surrendering unto the lord <clears throat> So you might hear the fan on the other side. It's right over there. So I'm going to try to speak up so that you can hear over the fan. Father, we bless your name. We thank you. We honor you, Jesus. We glorify you. We exalt you this morning in the name of Jesus. God, we are grateful for your love. We are grateful for your forgiveness and your mercy. We are grateful, God, that you bless us. We are grateful, God, that you discipline us, God. We we are just grateful, Lord God, that Jesus died in our place. We thank you for salvation, Father, in the name of Jesus. We love you. We praise you. You are mighty. You are awesome. You are holy. You're the one who reigns. You are the enthroned one. You're the God from everlasting to everlasting. You're the God of the impossible. We thank you that you saved us. We thank you, God, that you adopted us into your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God. We thank you that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption, God. So we praise you and we magnify you. And Holy Spirit, you're welcome. You're welcome this morning. And I could just commit this time into your hand. Father, I pray that we would all receive from you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So today is July the 29th. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and read the message. As you depend on me, you will move in a greater anointing. Let me just say that again. As you depend on me, you will move in a greater anointing. As you learn to depend on me and less on yourself, you will move in a greater anointing because I will pour out my grace on you to meet every task and tackle every challenge. When you begin depending more and more on me and less and less on other people, you will receive more and more wisdom, revelation, understanding directly from my heart to yours. I am dependable. You can depend on me. Let me meet you where you are and meet your every need. So I'm going to read the title again. It says, as you depend on me, you will move in a greater anointing. That's wonderful. Um, I was just thinking as I was reading the message, I was thinking about how when we first come to Christ, we're so dependent upon him because we don't know anything and we rely on him for every single thing like i'm gonna pray about it. i'm gonna pray about it i'm not gonna do that i must pray about it that even to the point sometimes we're kind of religious when we first get saved because we're praying about everything Right, we're praying about what clothes we should wear, where she would go, she what time is she gonna be? Like some people have um, been that extreme, right? But then, after years of being in Christ, we're not as dependent dependent upon Him because we have learned some things, and sometimes because we know some things, um, we just go with what we know right but the lord wants us to be dependent upon him no matter what we know because what we know he has taught us whether he taught us himself whether he's taught us through the word or whether he's taught us through some people he wants us to be dependent upon him and not in our own strength we have been dependent upon our own self and have failed miserably <laughs> We have been dependent upon other people and have they have failed us miserably. But none of us can say that we were dependent upon God and he failed us, right? So we have to unlearn some of the things we learned, right? Meaning like getting so used to God that we don't depend upon him. Every time we rise in the morning we should have a dependency upon the lord every time we pray and even worship we should be dependent upon the lord um to direct us right the spirit of the lord says in the word god says in the word that we don't know what we ought to pray but the spirit 
the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us, right? So even um, in our prayer life, we need to be dependent upon God, all right? And he said, when we do that, it says, when you begin to depend upon more and more on him, we will, and less and less on other people, we will receive more and more wisdom and revelation. Yeah, because people are limited in their wisdom and revelation, and God is uh, unlimited. So we want to make God our first choice and not our last choice. Um, when I, I was speaking to one of my friends, and she was going... Um, through something and she called me to let me know what she was going through and then I think she told maybe one other person and she said later on the Holy Spirit rebuked her because she did not come to him first and the strange thing I had something similar like that happen to me today I was going through something or yesterday I was going through something and I was so upset about it, I did not tell the Holy Spirit. I, t I called somebody and told um, the person, right? Well, the person ended up praying for me and praying with me that I could have got the same comfort from the Holy Spirit had I went to him first. And I'm not saying that, you know, we can't go to people because most certainly we can go to people and the Holy Spirit will answer us that way. But... Ashamed to say that he wasn't my first person to go through, go to rather. And neither, the same thing happened with my friend. He wasn't the first person to go to. And sometimes we all get into that habit of, let me just tell somebody what I'm going through. Or let me ask somebody what they think about this situation instead of us going first to the Lord and be dependent upon him because he has the answers for us, but not just the answer, but he has the exact answers that we need. And he said, when we are dependent upon him more and more, we'll receive more wisdom and revelation, right? Because there will be no middle man in between. The middle man is a human and they are limited unless the Lord is speaking to them and saying, Tell this person to go this way. Tell them to do this and, go, and do that. But if we go at, to the Lord first and depend upon him first, we just cut out the middle man and there will be no watering down of the answer. And not that people are going to water down of the answer, but they're human and they, they make mistakes, right? Well, actually, we're more spiritual than we are human. We're spirits, right? But sometimes we have fleshly answers where the Holy Spirit has the exact answer from the mouth of God as to what we should do, right? So I hope you are not like me and my friend, or I know some people ha are like that, but I hope we all make a decision to change and go to the Lord first, no matter whether it's a problem or it's a situation, let us go to the Lord first and be dependent upon him so that we can receive more wisdom and revelation and the middle person will be out of the picture now i do believe that the lord will send us to some people sometime because he's already um met us us there he's uh, he's going to meet us there with the answer through the person right so i'm going to go ahead and read the first scripture it's john 3 john three thirty. so john three thirty reads i must decrease and he must increase so as it relates to um the lord um wanting us to be dependent upon him when we come out of our own mindsets and be dependent upon the lord for sure he will release a greater anointing god wants us to depend upon him um, in all things actually because our life is hidden in him, right? The word also says that it's in him we live and move and have our being. So we need to be dependent upon the one that knows all things about us. Not just knowing all things, but he knows all things about us, what the intricate parts of us, what's on our minds, how to get us from here to there. And so we must decrease 
so that he can increase. We must de decrease in what we know or what we think we know or even really know and be dependent upon the one that knows all so that we can move in a greater anointing. That's what the Lord is saying unto us. And the next scripture is <clears throat> 2 Corinthians 12, 9. All right. Um, the scripture says, this is 2 Corinthians 12, 9. This is the NIV. So you know um, what the scripture is already. It says, um, <clears throat> but he said unto me. So this is talking about when the apostle Paul went to the Lord uh, three times about the thorn in his flesh, right? He said, my grace is sufficient for me, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So this is what the Apostle Paul is saying. He said, therefore, I will boast in all the, I will, therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest upon me. So this is, this is another place where the Lord is saying we need to be dependent upon him, right? Because he's, he's saying here that it's in his weakness when God is strong, in our weakness or Apostle Paul's weakness, when the Lord is strong. So therefore, we just need to go ahead and, and be weak and um, depend upon the Lord so that we can move in a greater strength, a greater anointing, a greater power, because then that's when the Lord Jesus moves in. You know, we come to the, well, we should, right? Because some people try to do everything in their own strength, but we can, should get to a place where we have come to our own strength, an uh, end rather, to our own strength, an uh, end to our own wisdom, and that we need to be dependent upon the Lord because he's all seeing, all knowing, and all powerful. And it should be a joy to us to be weak because the one that's going to come alongside of us to strengthen us is the Lord and he knows all things and he knows how to strengthen us with his wisdom, with his power, knowing all the answers for us. All right. So the next scripture is Zechariah 4, 6. Zechariah 4, 6. Zechariah 4, 6 says this. I was going to tell you all something else. I hope I'll come back to that train of thought. Um, Zechariah 4, 6 says, Zechariah 4, 6, it says, So he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. So God, again, is telling us it's not going to be by our dependency upon ourselves. It's not going to be dependent our dependency upon, upon people. It's going to come, the things are going to come by our dependency upon the Lord, the spirit of God. There is nothing that's really done for the Lord that is accomplished in our own strength or our own wisdom. Nothing, right? If it's done in our own strength and our own wisdom, it's not God. Even the gifts and the talents that we have, they come from the Lord, right? So he's just basically saying unto us, if you want a greater anointing, if I want a greater anointing, if we want greater revelation and greater understanding and even a closer relationship with him, we must be dependent upon him and not the limitless, limited uh, wisdom of man. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and read the prayer. It says, I refuse to depend on the arm of flesh. Yeah, there's a scripture talking about leaning, leaning on the arm of flesh. You can go ahead and Google it, or I might leave it on the screen. All right. Um, it says, I refuse to depend on the arm of flesh or the wisdom of man. We already know man's wisdom is limited and it's not wisdom sometimes <laughs> at all. You know, some things that make sense in this world, the way it is now, didn't make sense years ago. It just didn't make sense. Um, but now they've made some sense out of stuff that doesn't make sense. And it's not God. Like some things that are acceptable, it's just not wisdom, right? So we can't depend on the wisdom of man for sure not, right? It says, it's not by might nor even by power, but by you, the spirit of God, that I will overcome, endure, and prosper. Help me to resist the temptation to lead and to depend on my natural ability, my natural abilities instead of you. That's a whole lot right there because 
um, we're so busy um, or so used to, let me say that, we're so used to doing things so easily, sometimes we forget to invite the Lord in or even ask him to take charge, right? So, I, Father, I pray that we would not be dependent upon our natural abilities nor the arm of flesh, Father God. In the name of Jesus, the men, man, the wisdom of man, Father, help us not to be dependent upon them, Lord. Father, I thank you that there are times that you will send us to our pastors, our leaders, Lord God, to hear from uh, what you have to say unto us, Lord God. But Father, I pray that we would make you our first choice, God, in the name of Jesus, not second, not third. Father, not even for a greater anointing, but this is how it's supposed to be, God. We're grateful that you will give us a greater anointing, God, but we want to depend upon you, Father, whether we get in a greater anointing or not. Lord, help us, train us to do it, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless you and we give you praise, glory, and honor for this day in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I don't know if y'all know this, but I feel a little sluggish. I'm just tired. And I think I'm sleepy. I think that's, that's the bottom line. I'm sleepy. So, thank you for watching Choose Life. Don't forget to have a great week. I love it that. Some people are responding and commenting. My week is going great. I really, really like that. And encourage somebody today to have a good day, to have a good week. Um, never, ever, ever give the enemy a whole day of sadness, a whole day of anything. Anger, never, never do that. I've done that before and it's an ugly thing. Um, declare that I will only have bad moments and the moments won't last forever because even people's moments can last forever. But decide, I trust God with my life and I'm going to have a great week and I'm going to live the abundant life because that is the assignment for your life and for my life, that God wants us to live life and that more abundantly. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. God bless you all. I'll see you all in another video.